Hello everyone, and welcome to as an update on May 2nd, 2024. So last night we saw um, rain pushing in from the east, um, heavy at times, especially in parts of the northeast there. And this morning, the heaviest rain will shift towards the southeast of the country, uh, where we will see the, the um, remnants of thunderstorms over the UK overnight push in from the southeast. Um, these will mainly affect Munster and South Leinster through the morning and into the afternoon the rainfall may push a bit further northwards again. Now into the evening tomorrow we'll see um, cloud and shower rain persist in the Midlands and the east but in the north skies may clear up and in the south things will dry up but stay cloudy. Now into Friday May 3rd we see a feed of easterly winds with these with this showery rain coming in from the east. Um, not much on Friday, um, mainly in the middle and east, but either way, not much. Now into Saturday, May 4th, um, we see a lot of showery bits and pieces of rain around the country, heaviest in the east and most persistent to, especially in the morning there, but in the evening it shows signs of um, decaying away somewhat. And into Sunday, May 5th, we see some bright spells and a few showers in the east, while it says cloudier for the west. And into Monday, May 6th, we see a rash of showers breaking out in response to sunshine. So our temperature forecast is looking like this over the next few days. So into tonight, we see lowest temperatures, well, last night, lowest temperatures of around uh, quite very, very mild. Um, F 5 to 10 degrees. Now tomorrow where it is uh, pouring it with rain all day we will see a high of around like 7 to 9 degrees in Munster and possibly into South West Leinster. Now further north we'll see highs generally of around 11 to 18 degrees. Very warm in Ulster really. So like a good 10, 12 degree temperature contrast between Munster and Ulster and it's Munster that's colder than Ulster, which is very unusual. Now, um, it's worth noting that this front is obviously fueled by this contrast in temperature. You've got a very warm plume of air coming in from the east of the continent, meeting the cooler air to our west of the Atlantic, where they form big contrast in temperatures, um, so a lot of heavy rain and storms for the UK and Europe. Now into Friday, we see uh, mild starts today, highs in the uh, higher single figures. Now into Friday itself, we see highest temperatures of around 11 to 15 degrees. Into Saturday, a mild start again. So we're losing those cold nights with frost risks now. Um, Saturday is quite chilly, actually, especially when it's cloudy. So highs of 10 to 14 only, depressing for like early May and um, possibly a bit chillier in the east for a time on Sunday morning before highs on Sunday reach around 12 to 17 degrees miles distance Leinster uh, into Monday again higher temperatures of around 15 to 18 and possibly 19 celsius highest in the east. Our GFS 12 today is showing that the low is currently pushing to our south and allowing this warm plume of air to come in from the east. Tomorrow at 12 p.m if we, put, if, we, if we put the upper air temperatures on, we can see that there's a whole, you know, a whole big mass of warm air coming in off the continent, up from the Balkans, through Europe, through the North Sea, UK, into Ireland. And you'll notice that it meets the cooler air to our southwest. Um, it's quite an unusual pattern to see warm air coming in from the east and northeast, meeting cooler air to the west and southwest. Um, but here it is, we're seeing this pattern, and it's on this sort of like five Celsius ice dome here, this line, where we'll see the, fr the fr that is where we'll see the frontal boundary, with heavy rain, heaviest on the warmer edge of the front, basically the northern edge, basically it's northern edge. Um, so that's why it's being very, um... <clears throat> That's why it'll be very wet tomorrow in the south. Okay, so moving on from that, um, into the weekend we see very slight pressure 
So Saturday might see, might see some shower rain. On Sunday, just some, again, shower rain. Same for Monday, really. And then next week, you can Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, pr pressure tries to build, but never does so fully. And we end up pulling in this easterly wind, which could be quite mild-ish, before it goes more northeasterly into mid-May. But of course, that is a very long way off. And we've seen a lot of phantom northerlies ever since, like, December. Um, so here's the CMWF. So again, pressure is going to our south into um, tomorrow and so on. And this weekend, we have generally very slack pressure around. So that means we'll see um, areas of cloud and shower of rain, but nothing too unsettled. Now into next week with the ECM. Again, pressure builds, this time with more conviction. So we, get, so we do go warmer and drier here next week on the ECM. Uh, GEM, GEM is again having pressure being very slight this weekend, um, not much going on, going to be quite a messy weekend in terms of where areas, areas of rain are, some sunshine and so on. Now GEM kind of keeps it westerly into early next week and um, the high pressure builds first to our south then it ridges to our west towards Iceland, then to our north towards Scandinavia, and it ends up pulling in an easterly wind. Um, okay, so we're seeing a lot of different outcomes here, but the GFS, ECM, and GEM all do forecast high pressure next week in some form or another, but the ECM is obviously the one that has the strongest, the strongest, the strongest signal for it. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Okay, so um, here is the UK Met Run. UK Met Run, again, easterly winds tomorrow. That warm plume of air. Look at it again. Uh, coming in here. Um, big, big contrast here in temperatures. If we go to zoom in, um, we actually have the zero Celsius ice term over Kerry and West Cork here, while we have the plus nine ice term over Ulster, like big contrast temperatures and therefore um, heavy rain. Um, now moving on, this little low to our south on Saturday looks very intense, thank god that won't be over Ireland and beyond that next week, um, yes pressure builds. Here is the icon, so the icon is again going into the slack pattern over the weekend. Next week the high builds up from the south and ends up pulling in a southerly wind. So that's quite um, warm, but we still keep the influence of low pressure from the west. So not entirely settles. Now here's the Arpege and the Arpege has easterly winds tomorrow. Um, warm in the north, cool in the south, or cold in the south and wet there as well. The weekend looks again very showery, very slack, very messy sort of pattern here. Nothing much going on um, before next week. I think the Arpege is going more westerly actually. So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.